I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to rob your tenants. I'm going to assume you don't mind, seeing as I just saved your life. And then, all things considered, I, I th think I'm going to reevaluate my life so as to die a little less. Definitely want more endurance. That is an absolute must, but I need to be level six to increase that. Extra body condition would be nice. Extra blood would also be nice. I mean, all right, what, what about this one? What, what did this allow us to do? It essentially, wait, cost 10, recovery 50, recovery 60. All right, oh, oh. This just makes it recover sooner. Not as useful. I mean, this is this is a much more important upgrade. More stun, more damage, as is this. Of course, we have this one, which just does more damage, right? Yeah, that's just that's a damage upgrade. Now I do like blood spear. If I had more blood. Blood barrier. Oh, you know what? Now that is beginning to sound much. You can now carry three serums on you. I might want to do that as well. I've actually made some serums, but... Bullets lesser. Blood capacity. Big thirst. Increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. I have to be honest. Blood is what I want. Yes, it is. Now, if I just do this, this increases my blood capacity so I can max... I think this is just all-round usefulness blood capacity. As is biting for more blood. How do I raise Mesmerize, by the way? That's... Science cut. The number of bullets. Forget the bullets. Number of syringes could be useful. And these ultimates are probably... You create a shadow vortex at your tar target's feet. Could be interesting. Focus your power. Boil your target's blood. Ooh, causing it to violently explode. I like the sound of that, but I'm a way off that one. All right. And autophagy. Level six, and that will heal me slightly more. All right. I think we stick with these boosts for now. I may include increase body condition so I survive longer, but I definitely want to increase my blood pool. Yes, I do. That increases that. I can now... I've now unlocked this. More endurance. That is an absolute must. Just... I run out of endurance so quickly. Level 8 required for that one. The bite one... Increased dash. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that would be nice. As a combination. That one needs level 8 anyway. Level 6. What was the difference? Oh, it, it actually heals more. Oh, that's 1,300, though. That's a lot. That's 600. I mean, these are, these are so much cheaper. Probably less benefit, but at the same time, 20% more blood absorption. 300. Yeah, I'm... I'm I want to take more blood. I could also take that. That would be even more blood. Or I could go for more damage when I bite them. I actually think... More blood. All the blood. Bite them, drain, and then use the blood powers on them. Oh, such a... Oh. I'm now level 8, which means I can... Oh, no. That's what I want. That is what I want. 600. I can't! Ah! Uh, should I save it? And then as soon as I get a little bit more experience, I can then boost up. I just am not sure whether I'm going to survive waiting for, for that. Whereas a little extra blood 
Well, that never hurt anyone, did it? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Now! Oh, do you want to... No, 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 no. Confirm. Confirm. The next question is, do I want to go back on the trail for Thelma? Oh. Oh, what? Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading amongst citizens. So you mean I should cure people as fast as possible? The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below critical, it will plunge into chaos. It is up to you to decide the district's fate. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's been cured. So you're sort of suggesting I should probably heal people sooner rather than later. Delson Delaney. Trying to... Right, he's fatigued. I've got two fatigue cures at the moment. I do have two fatigue... Oh, wait, wait. Where's my, where's my cursor? Where's my... Why was it doing that? Right, what we got here? This is Albert. We don't know what's wrong with him. And this guy has got a cold. I don't have a cure for that. No, I don't. I don't have a cure for that. But I can cure two people of fatigue. And maybe it is worth doing now. It could be. Yes, indeed. So. I do have two serums. Oh, I've got to talk to Edgar. No, I, I I really do. Should I talk to him first? I've just got so many other things I really, really am curious about. I've now got two to give me um, more blood instantly for emergencies. I think I'm going to need these. And I've got something that gives me healing. So, little better prepared. However, maybe... I should head off to the pharmacy instead of this one. This one looks a little tough. If I head off to the pharmacy, maybe I can, you know, avoid dying horribly for a while and then get a little stronger. Oh, we are. Okay. So things do get restocked on occasion. This is good to know. And... All right, you. Hey, Doc. I don't want to... Oh, do you have anything new? No, you don't. However... You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Don't give medicine. No, we're going to give him the medicine because he will get better and therefore tastier. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. All right. Nothing's opened up there, has it? No. So, I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Yes, for now. So, one fatigue case down, and now what I need to do is head over towards hit the pharmacy. Isn't this where I was earlier? Close to... Yeah, this is the docks. All right. I'm wondering if I'm going to find some... I don't know. Opposition on the way. Let's hope it's something I can handle. All right. Is this... That is locked. It's locked. There's a chemist drugs prescription preparation medicines right close by. But I'm going across there. The pharmacy. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
I don't actually have a lot of blood. We, we can fix that. Right, let's... That one a little, didn't I? Oh, God. Come on, I want your blood. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of stamina. Oh, God. Come on, stamina, stamina. Thank you. Right, I'm going to need it for healing because I took fire damage. Okay. No. I'm not going to get any. All right. A little bit more healing. Okay. What did you have on you? Oh. Nothing. So, we're heading in that direction, but I did see... I did see a sign that hinted at stuff I could loot, but I... It's not going to let me. No, of course not. Of course not. Oh. I think they're... I don't know, actually. They could be close. No way to get in there, though. Wait. What is... I did not kill that person. that so support the men at the front with plentiful supply of munitions who will not suffer in wages get into the factory line and feed the firing line yes I've read that now this takes us where am I actually going I'm supposed to be going on the other side I don't think I need to go down there at the moment no that's... No, definitely don't. However, I did see some potential... Yeah. I did see some potential opponents over there. Yeah, they're gonna be... That is, unfortunately, where I need to go. The lead, boys. Okay. Come on. Okay, I was dodging then. Sometimes. Okay, stay out of the way of him. Yes. Yes, mind my teeth. Don't break them. Oh! I thought I was dodging out of his way. Got him. Come on. Did I get his friend as well? I did. Yes, I did. Come on. Lucky day, is it? Oh. Right. That should keep me in the blood. Right. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Stocked up. So. And got some... Oh, I should definitely call in on the ambulance driver 
Contagion, quarant contagious disease, quarantine. Okay. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of the blah, blah, blah. Just don't go in there. You will catch some horrible disease unless you happen to be a vampire. I don't think there's anything of interest out here. Oh. Where? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going across the bridge to the docks to find the pharmacy. And I want to hope things are not quite as deadly as they were. Where was the other area? Um, in towards Whitechapel. Whitechapel was definitely somewhat dangerous. Okay. Now, that does not... I think that's where I'm supposed to be going. Search for Thorough Strickland's Order. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Oh, okay. Now, I have a horrible feeling these guys see me. I really do. Or is it they can hear me? Okay. Oh, God. Mm, he saw me right at the last moment. Oh, he's got a friend. He's got a friend. Get his blood. Okay, that's one done. Yeah, not falling for that, mate. He says, about to fall for it. Okay. I don't know if these guys... Whoa, I'm out of... Oh, I am out of stamina. Oh, God. There's too many of them. That's the... Oh. I'm doing a little better, but I think it's because these guys might be a tiny bit weaker. Stamina's in the Right. What's he? He's resistant. Right, so. Okay, he's resisting. Right, so this is the last guy now, hopefully. Okay, stamina, stamina's gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not good. No, this is not good. Okay, it's time for blood and stamina and... Come on! I just... Okay! Got him on the run! Oh, he's... Oh, he's confused by the bridge. Oh, right. I probably didn't even need to take those two. I probably did not even need to take those two damned um, serums. I took, I took a blood serum and a thingy serum because I thought, oh, okay, this guy's way too tough. All right. Oh, well, I'm going to make more because those are going to be... Very, very useful. Yes, they are. Is that a train?
definitely a train somewhere close by. Are there any other threats close by, though? That is a better question. Prevent diseases, careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza, spread by droplets sprayed from the nose and throat. Do not cough in public. Well, you mean cover your mouth when you cough. Coughing is normally an involuntary uh, reflex. It's not something that people... I think I'm going to cough now. Yes, I woke up, I had breakfast, I cleaned my teeth. Uh, next on the list, cough three times. Unless you go to the doctor, of course. Swanborough's Medicine. Okay. What's that? Shillings. It looked way more than five. Dr. Strickland's List. Ordered by Dr. Thoreau Strickland, Pembroke Hospital. List of substances and ingredients. Lacryma papaveris. Medical opium. Sodium hypochlorite. Potassium permanganate. Okay. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Um, is that actually true? Is that true? I mean, you know, I know there's the big discussion about opiates and everything, but it depends on what he's doing and what the patient's suffering from, doesn't it? Okay, how the hell do I... Tell what happened to Thoreau's... Oh! Have I already got the ingredients? No, surely not. Surely not. I, I, I still have to... Tell what happened to Thoreau Strickland. Uh, well, what happened is you, you, your guy died. Oh, and the place has been trash. You're probably not getting your ingredients, I think. I think that's what, what I'm getting at here, is you're not going to get your ingredients. Okay. And therefore, I can just go back and chat with you to make sure. Right, that will take me back. Oh, that takes me to the docks, but not to the bridge. And very probably that will involve... Uh, oh, I remember that place. Right. Um, the downside to that is I will almost certainly have to fight my way back. Yes, indeed. Some of these doors look remarkably clean. Yes, they do. So. That sounded like another scowl, didn't it? There is a weird sort of blue glow occasionally, like there. Oh, it's the moon. It's the moon. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's just glowing off the... All right, well, I don't think I've missed anything. And honestly, I was hoping to be able to pick up some ingredients while I was here. But that does not look like it's going to happen. So let's go back, give him the message, and then go and uh, continue finding out what the Pruin know about Thelma. And hope this time I am a little better prepared for it. Which way is the best way? Which way did I come? I think I came that way. Therefore, we'll go this way in case I missed something. Oh. Who is that? You know what? I think I'm going to be happier if you are not around. Oh, there's two of you. Besides, you may have loot. Yes, indeed. Okay. Who do I want to take? Actually, let's just... So we take him first because he's got. On his team. And then zip there. And then slam him with that. I was not falling for that. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, a bit too late, mate. You should have watched out for them a little earlier. Yep. That is true. And I 
believe that's me, Max. Come on. Oh. Oh, well, then I'm going to want some more blood from you. Okay, so. A uh, glass vial and anything else? Bullets. Don't mind if I do. There's nothing else around here. That looks like the sort of... Oh. Okay. I'm heading in that direction, but it does... look like I cannot enter yeah it was worth a try well it wasn't actually so a lot of blood around this area why oh shillings anything else a rat I don't need blood right now Right. Oh. Uh, yes. I'm still hearing the skulls. I really am. However, that's the hospital, so I've made it back. Let's... Which way is the... Is this the morgue? Where the hell am I? I think this is a part of the hospital that's not... Ah, yes, it's close to... I'm actually a little lost. It's close to the morgue. I think. That is that is the morgue entrance around there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tell what happened to Thoreau Strickland. Yeah. Which means we're going this way. I think. He says, getting com completely lost. What is this? Oh. Oh. Does this al allow me t to get... Can I break windows? And I can't open the window, but... No. Interesting. Why would I want to get up here then? I don't know. Maybe I like the view. Who knows? Whenever you give me an option to go somewhere, I want to know why. Hello. Codeine? Nice. Does this lead through to the main? Area pro Yes, it does. Right. So, we need to talk to... Is I'm it... quite busy right now, Dr. No. Reed. Uh, oh. Um, no. Your thoughts on the Strickland research. I've already, I've already asked about that. What Thank I, I want to do... Time. We'll talk later. ...is talk to Strickland himself. And... He is... No. Is that him? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Right. Um, your drug provider is... Oh, no, don't... No green, no green. About the blood... About your blood transfusion technique. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Uh, you must remain neutral. No, you must tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. 
He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. What? What? Um. Okay. Thoreau's experiments in blood transfusion have not yet been successful. We got two hints before we even touched the uh, green one. Uh, but we now have um, Harvey Fiddick. Harvey is blaming himself for his injury. Right, he is recovering. You must remain neutral. I, I don't know whether that's true or not. We will, we, we will be back. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I need more information. It you was, always knew the words to calm it was you, children. wasn't it? But in the Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Uh, perhaps. It's not going to be there, but it's worth checking. Personal questions. Why do you feel guilty about your injury? Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Your wife died because of you? Uh, oh, when it, what was, what was... His wife died during the war. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Oh. <sighs> yeah, this, you were working a double. You were working to put food on the family table. I mean... Did you voluntarily hurt yourself? You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. <sighs> um... So... I, yeah, I'm still not getting the full story here. Oh. About the death of your wife, yes. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. Oh, so she brought... she was bringing... oh, dear. Are you... Uh, yeah. How are your children after losing their mother? I was smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Helen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. Right. So, out of curiosity... I mean, I mean... I'm not going to do a medical checkup. Can I do a medical checkup? Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? I'm all right. Considering the state of this place, I should consider myself lucky, I guess. All right. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. You always knew the words to calm the children, Helen. So... Yeah! I'm not... Honestly... I'm still lacking some information here. Tell what happened to Thoreau Strickland. I'm reluctant to... That's not Strickland, is it? That's... That's Tippett. That's Tippett. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? I don't think there's anything more I can get from you, is there? No. I'm, I'm done with you, unfortunately. And I didn't get all the Goodbye, details. Dr. Tippett. Although I suspect I was never going to eat Dr. Tippett's. I really did. Okay, no, I don't need to talk to you yet. Um, 
Right. This is the guy. This is. I'm quite busy right now. The guy that disapproves. Me. Is there anything else unlocked for you? Your thoughts on Strickland's research? We could talk to him again. Um... Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And it involves... Oh, we don't have anything. We don't have any... All right, so we don't we don't actually have any new options because I know the ingredients. Thank you for your time. We'll talk which means I just need to tell Strickland the news and. Good evening, sir. But I'm I'm missing something. I'm I, I swear good I'm evening, missing something. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Your drug provider is gone. But this ends it. Surely this ends the investigation. I don't. Personal questions about your blood transfusion. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering yep, from... I remember that. You re Fair question. Blah, blah. You need to remain neutral, though. Your medical opinion is what counts. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Aykroyd's behavior, a man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. No, I, I do, I get that. I do get that. But I've got hint after hint after hint to be unlocked. And I don't know. Hint required. Hint required. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna come back to you. I think I'm gonna wait for a while before Goodbye, I, Doctor Strickland. Before I discuss your um. Before I discuss your experimental procedure, I want to know more about you. More about um. Ac Ac Ackroyd, the other guy, and the guy you're going to do the experimentation on. And thus, I'm going to be waiting a little while. So, I could make another attempt on the, um, oh, Thelma, Thelma. I was trying to remember her name. There you go. That one. Probably. Where is it? Find the local command post of the guard of the Pruin. Or I could talk to Edgar. I mean, I could talk to Edgar. That's that's another possibility, isn't it? I mean, he did want to talk to me. It was reasonably urgent. Maybe he's got some information regarding the two doctors and the patient downstairs. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's talk to him. Please, Jonathan, come in. Alas, poor Yorick. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Okay, dude, Biology is penultimate frontier. If you start the more we explore its it. boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Uh, this must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Um, this is no gift. I'm a living paradox. Your words bring comfort. They, oddly enough, they do. What do I know about him? Nothing. It, it is odd, but 
it's kind of nice to have somebody who likes both sides of of the uh, of this. But um, yeah, okay. it may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Okay, no need to apologize. This is not amusing. We need each other. No, no, this, no, no. definitely doesn't need to apologize. He's helping me out. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. Oh. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Oh. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Is... is it a worrying sign that when he said delicate, my mind wanted to replace that word with delicacy? 